What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. This is part two of arm swing mechanics. And if you haven't seen the first one that teaches how to have proper arm swing mechanics when you're spiking, please watch the video link up here or you can click on the link in the video description below. In this video, we'll talk about how to generate topspin on the ball and why that's important when you're spiking. And this video was suggested by Shin82Chris. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. When you're spiking, you want to generate as much topspin as possible because it will allow you to spike more balls in. And here's the reason why. If you don't generate topspin on the ball and it floats, it will stay straight as it's going down. But if you add topspin on the ball, it will drop sooner because it's displacing air and it's dropping earlier than it would have if you didn't have topspin. And that will also allow you to hit the ball harder without having to worry about it sailing out. The way you generate topspin on the ball is you have to keep your hand as relaxed as possible but also open at the same time. You want to maximize ball contact by making sure that every part of your hand is contacting the ball. Then you want to contact the ball at the base of your middle finger. That's where the main focal point should be. So by the time I contact the ball, it can stick on the ball and then I snap through. Snapping through with your wrist will also help you generate topspin. When you're snapping your wrist, you want to make sure you point as hard and as fast as possible into the ground. And the best way you can do that is by keeping your hand relaxed. I can't emphasize that enough. Here's a good drill you can do to help you work on having proper ball contact with your hand. You take the ball with your non-hitting hand and you practice keeping an open but relaxed hand on your hitting hand. And then you slap the ball to try to create a higher pitched slap sound on the ball. If it has a lower pitch sound or a thud like this, that means your hand is too stiff or it's not open. Make sure that your hand is open and relaxed. Another good drill to practice your arm swing mechanics is down balling under the net. And that's a good way to practice your contact point when you're jumping and spiking in the air. Same drill as the down ball where I'm tossing with two hands. But instead of aiming over the net, I'm going to aim under the net at the other 10 foot line. The only thing that changes from down balling and spiking in the air is my contact point and I'm keeping the ball slightly more in front which will help me reach on top of it. So if this is the equator, my goal is to contact the ball above the equator to spike it downward and I'm also going to snap my wrist to help generate more topspin and to make it more of a downward trajectory when I'm spiking.
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.